up or down? Haven't you ever heard about the laws of gravity? Just a second, we'll lift them up. Ah, oh, here's a rule that definitely states that you will definitely fall if you keep that up much longer. of balance are just as simple as falling off a pile of tables. When most of the weight is low, we have something called a low center of gravity. Every young sailor knows the value of a heavy keel to help his boat stand against the side push of the wind. And on land, too, a low center of gravity means better balance, greater safety. These midget, midget racers, amazing little underslung speedsters, are built about as close to the ground as it's possible to build them. On the dirt tracks, it's speed and more speed. Speed on the straightaways and speed on the turns. A light foot on the brake pedal and a heavy foot on the throttle. In racing, everything else is sacrificed to the demands of speed and the ability to stay on four wheels. So there's nothing top-heavy about a racing job. Every possible ounce of weight is concentrated, just as close to the ground as the designers can get it without scraping the track. Racing is thrilling sport for daredevils, and not many of us can be, or even want to be, racing drivers. But the same principles of balance apply to the family car. Only a few years ago, the automobile was top-heavy. The high center of gravity caused side sway and lack of balance, even though driving speeds were slow. But as roads and riding qualities improved, tops became less lofty. More and more balance was built into our cars. Automotive engineers found that smaller wheels gave better stability on the passenger car by lowering the entire frame and body. The high point rear axle and the oval-shaped muffler brought lower floors and a still lower center of gravity. The vacuum power gear shift made it possible to turn the transmission cover on its side. This saved more floor space and with new methods of hanging the body on the box girder frame brought the weight even closer to the ground. Concentrating the weight close to the ground gives a truly low center of gravity and a solid four-wheel foundation to the cars we drive. We've heard so much about the center of gravity, it's time we see what one looks like. Of course, we can't actually see a center of gravity, but that dot on the back of the car is in line with it. And here are some very choice bumps. 
especially arranged to see what happens to that center of gravity. Crack up Pete with only one idea in life. He doesn't like monotony. He gets so tired of riding around right side up. Watch the dot. Look at that angle. This time he can't win. And if he does, it's a miracle. This is giving old man gravity a ride for his money. And heaven help the boys at sea if the ocean ever gets any rougher than this.